Hi everyone, I'm Jet, and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Highway Sign Maker. Um, so, when you first get in the Highway Sign Maker, you see new sign here, and how to get onto it, you can literally just type in Highway Sign Maker, and click on this link right here, and it'll bring you there. Um, so... Yeah, um, but yeah, you start out with a new sign. It says new sign here. It's pretty easy to use, so there's all sorts of different options you can he you have here. Um, in my experience, it's best to do this on, like, a computer. Um, right now, I'm recording this on my uh, Dell Inspiron computer, because um, I have tried this on my Chromebook. It's just on my Chromebook, it tends to freeze, because it probably doesn't have, like, the processors to handle it, because um, sometimes, like, it freezes, or... Um, you know, like, while I'm, like, trying to make signs, um, so it's probably not the best, at least in my experience, to use it on Chromebook, um, but, yeah, you go onto this website, it says new sign here, um, and it's pretty easy to use, um, so there's all sorts of options you have here, I have an option for a new panel, if you press on this, um, it'll put a new sign there, um, and you can switch back between the panels, so right now we're on panel 2, but if you want to go to the one, like, on the left, like the left furthest one, press panel 1, um, we create a new panel, now it's panel 3, if you want to go to the middle one, panel 2, one all the way on the left, panel 1, if you want to edit it. Um, so, and I believe you can uh, duplicate them as well, if we press duplicate. Um, you can also delete them as well, and I believe this button brings you through all the panels as well, these arrow buttons right here. Um, and you can have the post position, so you can have it left or right. Um, you can have it overhead, so basically you have like poles on both sides, it's like a pull through. Um, you can have it rural, so basically you just have like one sign, sign like on the side of the road. Um, and then you have center, where basically it's kind of like, I guess in the center of the road, there's only like one pole, it's kind of like all the way up. Um, in this, I'm going to go overhead. Um, so yeah, we've got our signs here. And you can change the panel color too, you can change it to blue. Um, change it to blue, brown, yellow, white, or black. Um, So, I'm going to have it on green, though, for exits. Um, you can change the blue for, like, you know, rest stations. Uh, you know, brown for, like, you know, state parks. Yellow for, like, you know, warning. Like, you know, there might be, like, a tight turn. There might be, like, a turn, like, a really steep, like, curve, like, a, like a, a curve or something coming up where, like, you might need to slow down. Um, but, yeah, we're going to use green here um, for exits. And then we got exit right here. Um, so for exit, you can't, like, you do type in the number here, like, let's say, like, oh, it's exit 23, so I'm going to type in 23 right there. However, if you do want to say exit 23, you also got to type in the word exit, not just the number. Um, so yeah, you know, we got exit 23 there. Um, you can have it also wherever you want. So right now we have it in the center, but I could also put it to the left or to the, uh, well, center, or I can put it to the right as well if I want to, and then I could have it. Uh, narrow, wide, like that, full, so basically it goes like the full uh, length of the sign, and then on edge, so it kind of just goes over to one edge, and then if I switch it from right to left, it goes towards the other side, so, yeah, and then I can put like new shields as well, um, so it automatically goes to Interstate 1, but you could press on this arrow here, you could change it to, you know, U.S. Highway, um, and then like, you got a bunch of state highways here as well, and all their, um, and like all their signs, like all the symbols for like state routes. So let's say it's, um, so let's say it's New York State Route, um, 303, for example. Um, and also it says Shields Back right here as well. So basically, when you see that, so you know, like the black you have behind like the U.S. signs or like, um, for um, some uh, state highway 
uh, route signs as well. So that basically what that is. It has like the black behind it, and then if you press off the shield backs, um, that goes away. Um, I can also put the shield positions above, left, right. So like, you know, right on my lettering, left of the lettering, or just above the lettering. Um, also, we do have control cities here as well. So, for example, for control cities, I mean, I, I put like you know Scranton here, for example, or you know New York City. I'm just making this up, um, you know, or I could put Yonkers or something like that. You know, you can put control cities there. You can also add arrows as well. Um, so you have like an up arrow, like so, up arrow, down arrow, um, right up arrow right arrow, right down arrow, left up arrow, left arrow, left down arrow, and then we have exit only, which basically has like the yellow, like at the bottom with like the exit only and then arrow, um, and then you have side right, and then side left. And then you can also ha show how many arrows you want. Um, it goes up to six arrows, or at least for the side left. Um, so we're going to do it for uh, exit only here. But yeah, it only goes up to six at most. We'll do two for this example here. I've noticed too, like this right arrow is like down a little bit lower than the left arrow, which I find quite interesting. Um, I can put, uh, you know, Quebec style exit marker um, as well. So, I can put that if I want to, and I can type an exit number like exit 12. Um, so, we could just put none. And also, I can put an action me message as well. So, um, let's move on to panel two here. So, like, let's say exit message. So, let's say it's like, uh, I don't know, we got Interstate 29 coming up. And it's going north, let's say. Um, and let's say it goes to, um, I don't know, let's say it goes to Albany, let's say. Like, let's say it goes to Albany and New York City. And we've got coming up, and you can write, like, oh, it comes up in, like, one, like, a quarter of a mile, let's say, or, like, a half a mile. Like so. Oh yeah, and also too with the exit so signs as well. So you can have them round like this, or you can also have them sharp. So basically, where like you got like the white circle like around the edges, but then you got like these little green, like this little like green that kind of extends outside the circle. It makes more of like a, a square. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I personally like having it more round, but. You know, you do see a lot of them on the highway as sharp. Excuse me. So that's what they call it. Um, so, yeah. And once you're done making your signs, you can also make real signs as well, like off of real highways. And actually, I do have a, um, an example here. So basically, so this is um, a highway sign off an interstate weight. Um, this is from Interstate 80. Um, west, and this is what it looks like, this is a screenshot from Google Earth, um, of this sign, so we got Interstate 80 West, Delaware no Water Gap, Strasburg, Pennsylvania, exit 26 for 40, for US 46 West, and Bud Lake and Hackstown, this is also in New Jersey, around, like, Neck Hong, New Jersey area, um, but yeah, uh, northwestern New Jersey, um, and then we got exit 27 here, exit 27A here for US 206 South, Somerville, um, and then I put that in there into, uh, sign maker, so yeah, we got 80 West, or War Gap, Strasburg, Pennsylvania, um, exit 26, uh, US 46 West, Bud Lake Hackstown, uh, in a half mile, um, and then we got exit 27A, uh, US 206 South for Somerville, um, now, way made this, I put the arrow, I use, like, the right, um, go back to panel one here, um, so I used the right up arrow, 
which I know the right up arrows are a little bit small, but I probably honestly could have just used like the side right arrow, because that probably would have looked, well, probably would have worked better, because that's kind of essentially what's there, and it's also bigger, so that probably would have been better if I used the side right arrow instead of like the right up arrow, because right up arrow is smaller, and then this, the side right arrow is much bigger, and also when you, when you use the side right arrow, it's only one that comes up. Yeah, only one. Um, and probably the same thing for the side left, because essentially the same thing, it's just to the left, not to the right, like so. Um, so, yeah, and then basically I corrected the control cities on here, so basically now we've got Interstate 80 West for Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, so, because, I mean, Strasburg's kind of significant, the reward gap I think is kind of ridiculous to sign, um, but yeah, 80 West, Scranton, Pennsylvania, um, I know there's also a video from Control City Freak as well, um, talking about, like, all, because I've been watching, uh, Control City Freak a lot lately, um, um, and this, and, um, Control City Freak does have an Interstate 80 West video, um, and I will link that, um, up somewhere, um, uh, but yeah, I'll link that right now, uh, if you want to go check that video out, um, and maybe even subscribe if you're interested, <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, Frederick's at 26, 46 West, I didn't really know what to put, because I know Bud Lake and Hackstown are literally, like, the next, like, town or two over in this area, but 46 West for the rest of its way, I mean, if we go on Google Earth here, um, can we set to north? So, if we go on Google Earth here, there's nothing really significant going west on 46 throughout New Jersey. Um, well, throughout, like, the rest of New Jersey. Um, turn that off. Um, so, yeah, we got 46 here. There is, like, nothing significant really, for the rest of its way. I mean, maybe you could find, like, Portland, or, you know, maybe, like, you know, Delaware, War Gap, or, meh. I don't know. But, I just kind of kept the control cities the right way it was, but, like, Hackstown, because I didn't really know what else to put there, even though the next town or two over, they're not really all that significant. But, yeah, then we got Exit 27A, U.S. 206 South, so instead of signing for Somerville, I mean, Somerville, I guess, is kind of significant, well, not really, but, I mean, it does go through Somerville, um, so there's Somerville right there, and I know you also have Bridgewater, and then, um, got Bedminster right there as well, but yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe Somerville is okay, I mean, There's like a good, well, at least in 2021, there's like a good 12 and a half thousand people living there. So, I mean, yeah, it's kind of significant. Personally, I would just do Trenton, because it does go through Trenton, and Trenton's much bigger. And I think Trenton's the biggest thing that 206 goes through. So, I mean, yeah, Somerville's okay. Maybe if you have to sign two, maybe like, you know, Somerville, Trenton, but, you know, Trenton definitely, I think, should be up there, because Trenton's more significant than Somerville. So, cause, I mean, I mean, yeah, Somerville has, like, a good, like, 12 and a half thousand people living there. Like, that's a decent amount. Um, but then if I press on Trenton here, whenever it loads, it'd be nice. Um, it has 90,000 people, over 90,000 people, and it's also the state capital of New Jersey, and also US-206 goes there as well. Unlike signing I-95 for Trenton, and guess what? It doesn't actually go there. Um, and I know Control City Freak also has more about that as well, which again, I'll link uh, videos to that as well. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of what I used as an example. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and also, if you want to save... If you want to, like, save your sign, 
So, like, when I found out, if you want to save your sign on Highway Sign Maker, um, you're just going to have to take a screenshot of it. And also, I do have this article from Indeed.com uh, about, like, you know, how to take a screenshot from whatever, whichever, whatever device you're using um, to uh, make to um, make your highway signs on. Um, definitely would recommend taking a screenshot because I don't, I don't think you can really save it anywhere. Because I mean, if I, because I mean, if I exit out, if I exit out, and if I type in, you know, highway sign maker, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't save. It just says new sign. So definitely, at least what I've been doing is just take screenshots of it. Um, and again, I do have this Indeed article here um, on how to take uh, screenshots for the device or like what or the processor that you're using. So from Indeed.com. So yeah, but definitely I recommend uh, taking a screenshot of it because there's no way to really save it or download it, at least from what I've seen. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, but, yeah, um, but yeah, you definitely do want to, uh, screenshot it if you do want to save it. Um, and oh yeah, and also with the control C's, you can also expand this like so as well. And I actually just noticed that that was down there, like you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, yeah. Um, and then also you can add multiple shields on a sign as well. From my knowledge, there's no limit. And oh yeah, and also with the shields too. So I mean, you can you know select your like interstate, U.S. highway, state highway. Um, we'll just use a U.S. highway here for example. We'll use 206. And then also if you click here, you can put none, or you got like arterial route, arterial. You can put arterial there. Uh, north, east, south, west, jacked or like you know junction, begin, end, spur, all truck, trunk, bus. Um, not sure what that means. BYP. Um, we got loop, express, local, inner, outer, future, toll, city. Uh, pretty sure that means connection and two. Um, But yeah, you got all sorts of options here. So we'll just do uh, north for this example. And, there, and again, you can have it like right, left, or above. You can also delete it as well if you don't want it. Um, but yeah, there's all sorts of options you can choose here. So yeah, all sorts of options. And again, you can put the shields back. You can also, again, just the, the shield position and also, you could adjust where the, where, like, the signage for, like, which direction it's going or, like, what it's going to or, like, what kind of route, route it is. You know, you can put it to the right, to the left, or above um, the shield. So, yeah, right, above, and then left, like so. So we've got left for New Jersey State Route 18, we've got the right there for south, and then above. And then also for all these, you could just put none, and you got nothing, you just got the uh, New Jersey 18 sign there, or New Jersey 18 shield there. So, yeah. So I hope that all of you enjoyed um, this video, and... I, I I'll put this in the description below as well, the Highway Sign Maker, um, if you want to try and try this out for yourself. Um, so I hope they, that you found this um, video helpful. Oh yeah, and also for the Indeed.com, how to take screenshots from your device. I'll also put this in the description as well. Um, but yeah, I hope that all of you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you found it um, informative. I hope that helps you, and if I got anything wrong here, feel free to correct me. Um, just do it politely, please. Um, but yeah, I hope that all of you enjoyed, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye, everyone.